Welcome to RaidGuides.com's video guide to the Feng the Accursed in Mogushin Vaults on 10 man normal. My name is Arch and I'll be guiding you through this encounter. How this fight works is Feng will siphon the spirit of three statues in around the room in a predetermined order. Um, and he'll do this at 95%, 66% and 33% health remaining. Each statue gives him a different set of abilities. Spirit of the Fist will give him Lightning Lash, which zaps the current target for 30,000 nature damage every 2 seconds for 20 seconds. Uh, Lightning Fist does a shockwave in front of him for 250,000 nature damage and stuns those caught in it. And Epicenter creates an earthquake underneath him that deals massive AoE damage the closer you get to its center and reduces players chance to hit Feng by 75%. Spirit of the Spear gives him Flaming Spear, which causes his melee attacks to deal an additional 25% damage as fire and deals 30,000 fire damage every 2 seconds for 20 seconds. Wildfire Spark puts a debuff on a random player which explodes after 5 seconds, placing a wildfire, wildfire at their location. The wildfire then spreads out and inflicts 116,975 damage every 1 second to anyone standing in it and draw flame which will cause Feng to absorb all the wildfire on the ground and gives him one stack for each wildfire he absorbs. These stacks then cause him to deal 50,000 fire damage to all raid members with every melee swing. Spirit of the Staff gives him Arcane Shock which deals 30,000 arcane damage every 2 seconds for 20 seconds. Arcane Velocity which deals 40,000 damage every second to all players in the raid, the further away from him you are the more damage it deals. And Arcane Resonance which deals 10,000 damage per second to a random player and all players within 6 yards, increasing the damage done by 10,000 for each player affected. The tanks will gain access to two abilities by clicking on the big crystals that are right left after he activates a, spit, a, stat, a statue. Uh, nullification Barrier and Shroud of Reversal. Nullification Barrier puts up a barrier for 6 seconds which negates all harmful magical effects. And Shroud of Reversal allows them to protect an ally and mimic the next attack that strikes them. So as you can see, we're pretty far into phase 1 at the minute. Um, that right there is the lightning lash fist, that's the one which stuns the people in the area that get uh, where his fist strike right down on the floor in front of him and then it sends out that little spark which deals a fair bit of damage so you want to try and avoid that um, there he goes, look off the spark again uh, he then does his epicenter which is where you want to, for like a dot class or particularly you want to make sure you've got all your dots up on him beforehand because you, you know, you're not going to be able to hit him really I mean I got quite lucky here and, and I actually managed to hit him but he does have 75% reduced chance to hit, so you're not going to be able to hit him very well. It deals a lot of damage, you want to group up and heal. We tried being the opposite side of the platform, but we found that it didn't really do any less damage than it did being halfway across the platform. So we grouped in the middle and really abused that nullification barrier to put it around us and completely negate the damage. See, so we're going into phase 2 now, this is where he's stored and he gets the fire buff now. So puts the fire debuff on the tank and you can see we get a wildfire in the next second there's the first wildfire spark it's placed on our mage drops it off to the edge you want to take this right to the edge so it doesn't accidentally make its way near anybody else um he will do um i think maybe five of these before he does draw flame roughly i'm not sure he's done two now i think he's going to put a third one down and then do draw flame let's have a look yeah, there's the third wildfire spark and now he's doing draw flame now you want to be careful melee because when he does draw flame the wildfire sparks will come in towards him so you need to be sure that he doesn't that you're not in the way of the fire on its way in now in order to get around the massive damage which comes from this you can use the nullification barrier on the boss as draw flame as the fires are about to reach him and this stops him getting the stacks it stops him absorbing it because every fire that goes into him, he will gain one stack. Every time he hits, he will do 50,000 raid damage and lose one stack. So the first time we tried this, we didn't know about the Baron. We didn't use it. And towards the end of the phase, he had about 23 stacks. And every and so that's 23 melee attacks where he's going to do AoE raid damage. You can see now he's up to, well, a lot of stacks there. That's 20 odd. I think each wildfire gives him a lot more than one stack, to be honest, looking at that. I'm not sure how much it is entirely. But you can see the stacks going down with every melee hit, but you can see the damage it does is immense. 
So you really want to try and avoid him getting as many stacks as possible using nullification barrier on the actual boss as the fire is about to reach him. Other than that, it's pretty much a stand and burn him through phase. You want to. This is where we used our time warp because we wanted to try and get through this part and help with the healing as quickly as possible because we found this is probably the, the most intensive part of the fight. And then <clears throat> we're coming up to phase three. Accidentally placed a spark in a pretty bad location here, but never mind. I warned them about it. There we go. They won't get hit by it. That'll be fine. Uh, phase 3 now, which is Spirit of the Staff, the Arcane phase. Now here you want to spread out, because if he puts the debuff on you and you're near anybody else, you're going to chain that damage and it's going to be uh, really bad, because it, as I said earlier, it, it multiplies for every person that's, that gets affected. And when it does Arcane Velocity, you all need to group up right on his feet to really minimise that damage. Again, abusing the nullification barrier to help stop the damage from coming in. And then spread right out immediately to get rid of, to make sure nobody spreads the arcane resonance, which you can see is on our shadow priest over the other side of the map. This bit, as long as you all group up quickly and you spread out quickly and none of the damage gets chained and you can heal through the arcane velocity, is pretty much tank and spag. There's not really any, any difficulty to it, it's, it's relatively straightforward, relatively easy. And it's just a case of burn him down and survive long enough that he dies. So I'll uh, leave the rest of the video up for you to watch and get an idea of how it goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more bosses to come. Uh, have fun and good luck. Betrayed by four emperors of the Mogul. His body destroyed each time only to rise again. This is not the last we have seen of Bane.